If you feel like you need help with the selections up here, please go back to the lecture or the lesson videos and they will go through step by step how to properly make a quick selection and then to refine that selection using the Refine Edge brush tool within the Selected Mass dialog box. As we continue with the project, I felt like I was maybe getting to a point where I needed to stop because I had so much going on in the design that I decided that I wasn't going to add any more elements but maybe I could try to make the product look a little bit more cohesive. And one of the things that you can do when you're trying to make something look more cohesive is you can kind of streamline the color palette. And I did that using a gradient map. A gradient map can be created by selecting a layer and then selecting what looks like the black and white cookie. It's a circle that's half black and half white. And then you can choose gradient map. When you do that, you will get a, whoops, did not mean to do that. You will get a properties panel prompt that will say, well, what colors do you want that gradient map to be? And there are some defaults on here. So there's that that doesn't look very good. But don't worry if, if it looks like the wrong part of the image is the wrong color you can always choose reverse and then you get a better version of that. And what I did was I found one that I liked. Let's re-reverse that. I liked this one. I felt like it really made the the areas that I wanted to be dark dark and the areas that I wanted to be light light. But I didn't like the colors. And so if you click on the gradient you can actually modify it by clicking on the little swatches. So I kinda like the purple so I clicked on the orange swatch and I changed the color to be more of a blue color. After I was done that, I kind of wanted to go back and see if there were any other purple colors that I would like better. And so I tried lighter colors and darker colors until I found the right color combination for me. And I'm actually going to undo because my colors are slightly different than that. There we go. And then once I was happy with that, I felt like it made it look more like a picture. And the last thing I wanted to do was add text so that everyone would know what the project is for.